Hey YouTube, this is Eddie's Tech Talk, and uh, just before the video starts, just would like to thank this week's sponsor, and that is Roxio. Uh, they are the first ever sponsor here at Eddie's Tech Talk, and uh, the featured product by them this week is the Game Capture, and uh, the, what the Game Capture does is you can stream uh, live vi streaming content from your games. You can record any games that you have, whether it be PS3, Xbox 360, PC. Uh, you can record them, upload them later for YouTube for uh, the whole world to see. Whether you just want to record for YouTube, you know, the whole world, or just your friends, or you need it for like a school project, or you just like uh, recording your games or anything. Support for, like I said, PS3, Xbox 360, PC, and there should be support for the PS4 in an upcoming update. And for a limited time here, if you order from Eddie's Tech Talk, you get $50 off instantly and free shipping to North America, so I think that's a pretty good deal since the price point of, for those start around $120. Uh, but I'm sure you're done hearing me blab about the Roxio. Hit the link in the description to order that up, and uh, enjoy the video. Thanks. Hey YouTube, this is Eddie's Tech Talk, and this is my unboxing and initial impressions video on the HTC One Max. I do have the Verizon version of the HTC One Max, um, and I also own, personally, the the HTC One here, so I'll do a little side-by-side -side comparison of the phones. Um, but here we go. Unbox the phone. If you've never uh, watched a video here on Eddie's Tech Talk, you've stumbled across one of the best YouTube channels that there are. I do, uh, do reviews for Verizon products. Uh, Lenovo products now. My first Lenovo product, the uh, Lenovo Mix 2 8, should be coming soon. And I always do videos on, you know, I, uh, you can ask me a question. I always do a show on that. Uh, so get those rolling in. And thanks for uh, finding Eddie's Tech Talk. So let's take this out of the sleeve here. Uh, on the back of the sleeve, we have some basic specs. Android with HTC Sense. Uh, that's just basic Android with the, uh, the HTC's own customizations over top of it. Um, if you ever used another Android phone, you'll be familiar. Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 processor, 1.7 GHz quad-core CPU. Uh, if my memory does not fail me, that's the same CPU as found in the uh, normal HTC One here. Uh, micro SIM card, 32 gigabytes of storage, pretty good. 2 gigabytes of RAM, that's always good too. And you can actually put a SD card in here, which is a dying breed. SD cards are a dying breed in smartphones, so you can expand up to 64 gigabytes. Uh, which was previously the standard, the highest you could get of an SD card. Now they have a 128 gigabyte one. I'm assuming that would work since they use the same technology, but don't quote me on that one. 5.9 inch 1080p full HD display, and as you can imagine, 5.9 inch, that's huge. This is the HTC One here. Uh, it's 4.7 inches, basic size really for a smartphone. Uh, the Galaxy Note is about 5.2-ish, 5.5 inches. The LG G2 is 5.2 inches, and that's on the bigger size. And here's an 8-inch tablet compared to a 4.7-inch phone. So you can probably see that uh, that huge behemoth phone is going to take up probably a lot of room in your hand, and probably not for women, um, due to the fact that women typically have smaller hands, and not for most men either. But we'll see, because this phone could make me a believer in the phablet devices from HTC. So I will just now try and get this top little sleeve off the box here. Alright, there we go. And here it is. The behemoth. So I'll just take that out. Come on. So here it is. This phone's huge. I gotta zoom out for this. So uh, I'll just hold up the HTC One, the normal one, to it. You can see how big of a difference there is here between the phones. We'll compare thickness. The HTC One Max is uh, considerably thicker. I mean, just look at that difference in the phones. I mean, that's huge. Look at how much space this takes up in my hand. And then how much space this takes up. This is much more uh, holdable, but of course, with a bigger screen, you do get more real estate for displaying content. So we'll see. So let's just... Uh, Boot the device up. Alright, and then we'll set that off to the side there as we go through the rest of the box. Uh, just just like cardboard insert for the phone there. Inside we get 
your standard, uh, if you've ever had a HTC phone before, your standard HTC USB cable. Uh, it's a fair size, not too long, not too short. Uh, it could be a little longer, but still a good size for a USB cable. You don't have to be sitting right next to the, uh, to the outlet when you're charging your phone and using it at the same time. Some Verizon booklets. This is the Verizon HTC One Max. Uh, just pretty unimportant documentation. And the wall wart for this one is uh, is big, I guess, to match the phone. The wall adapter I have for the HTC One is considerably smaller. I don't know why uh, they needed to make a bigger wall adapter for just one USB port charger. Uh, but we shall see. So here it is, the huge phone. We'll go around it, take a tour. Here we have this behemoth 5.9 inch display. At the bottom here we have a Verizon logo. Uh, home button and back button similar to the HTC One, actually identical to the HTC One. I mean they really just took the HTC One, the specs of the HTC One, blew it up and added a fingerprint scanner which uh, I will demonstrate in a later video. We do have HTC boom sound so even if the uh, phone is lying flat you have sound projecting upward and you have deeper sounds due to the technology. HTC has in the device. So um, at the bottom here we have this big plastic bezel uh, present also on the HTC One uh, and then you have the aluminum back and the aluminum front here. So at the bottom we have it looks like a microphone hole <coughs> excuse me there a micro USB port along the side we have a volume rocker we have the power button up here so I don't quite know what this is. We'll press that uh, and it turned the screen on and off so I don't know if we have two power buttons oh this isn't a power button okay well I thought I was pressing this the whole time to turn the device on when my uh, hand was over here so uh, I guess in an attempt to not make you reach up and like tap the screen that the power button is over here on the side at the top here this is an IR blaster um, it's technology found a remote so you can use this as a remote for your television so uh, side here power button volume down volume up 3.5 millimeter headphone jack the IR blaster which I mistook for a power button because it is a power button on the HTC one on the side here we have a, a little switch oh and that pops the back off that's pretty cool uh, we'll see what we have underneath this back cover we have a battery which is looking pretty non-removable to me we have the sim card slot I have my Verizon sim in here and on the opposite side um, I believe anyway you can put your uh, micro SD cards in but since this is a review unit I'm pretty sure that port is covered up so I don't put my micro on oh, no, here it is micro SD card right there boom so you can put your micro SD card in and rock with your increased storage. So we'll just pop this back on. All right, we'll see if we'll see what the right way is to pop the back on. Uh, not the most idiot-proof design. I wouldn't call myself a complete idiot because I do do tech reviews, uh, but not the easiest back to slip on and off. And the switch isn't very easy to flip either. For those of you who are new, you know I don't edit anything out because, you know, if I'm looking around the device for the first time and I can't figure something out, good chance that you might not be able to figure it out either. On the back here we have these three pins for, uh, I'm assuming, some sort of docking station or, uh, you know, accessory. Still can't get this back quite back into place. We'll see if we can figure that out. Huh. Well, we'll see if I can figure that out. Uh, but let's take a little quick tour around this device. Got the HTC Sense UI. Welcome. So I'll just set this up real quick here. My goodness, this phone is huge. You could buy, you could watch full-length movies on here, and I have to strain. I mean, this is really like a huge phone. The biggest phone I, that I have used to date here on Eddie's Tech Talk. So I'll just sign in real quick. I mean, this phone is just a behemoth using it. Just total behemoth. 
I suppose it might be good for uh, the older folks out there who have trouble seeing. Uh, you know, since everything's blown up, everything's bigger, all the text is bigger, everything's bigger, just everything. So, uh... So I'll just finish set up here. Oh, I did it! I just had to slide. Oop! I just had to slide the HTC One case once I put put it in. I just slide it a little bit to the left, and all the things popped into place. So we're all popped in to place here. All right. So let's take a look at this Behemoth device as it as it finishes set up. So we have the tutorial. Uh, I already know how to do that, so we are all good here. There's me, right there. I mean, just this phone is huge. Just look at it in my hand. So, uh, just mega huge phone. Let me tell you. My goodness, I have to reach all the way down here. There's no way. I'm five nine. I have fairly large hands. Uh, there's no way that your fingers ever gonna reach to the top corner. Mine can only reach about three quarters of the way up from the bottom. I mean, that's pretty ridiculous. So, uh, initial impressions is this phone is huge, and I don't know if I'd be caught with it, uh, but some of you out there might need this big phone uh, for purposes, you know, people do like big phones, so I guess we'll see if this suits your needs, if this suits uh, your, uh, I'm sorry, your, you know, your lifestyle. So, uh, I only have this device for about a week, so I might not be able to do a full review on the device, but I will do at least a, um, you know, a, a wrap up of final impressions of the phone if I cannot do a, an entire review of the phone. And of course, I'll demo the fingerprint scanner on the back here. So, this has been a presentation of Eddie's Tech Talk. Let me know do you own an HTC One Max? Are you going to buy an HTC One Max? What's going to happen there? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you want it? Let me know in the description or er, in the uh, comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.